Thank you. It has been controlled by the Democrats since 1921, and the Kentucky House will be staying that way, at least for now. Democrats won three of the four House seats up for grabs today in a special election. That includes the 62nd District, which includes parts of Fayette, Scott, and Owen counties. Democrat Chuck Tackett won with 52% of the vote, compared to Republican Philip Pratt's 48%. The only win for the Republicans came in the 54th District, which includes parts of Boyle and Casey County. Republican Daniel Elliott easily defeated Democrat Bill Nolker. Republicans hope to have a 50-50 House split or a tie after today's election, but instead Democrats now hold a 53-47 to majority. Garrett Weimer has reaction tonight in our top story at 11. There was a lot at stake with those four special elections across the Commonwealth. Now, Democratic leaders say they're ready to get back to work after keeping control of the House of Representatives here in Frankfurt. It's a great night for Kentucky Democrats. It's a great night for Kentucky because the wins in these three districts are wins for the people of Kentucky. And they felt like celebrating. State party leaders called it the rebirth of Kentucky's Democratic Party remaining in control of the state house. Control of the chamber means a lot more than just one or two extra votes than you had before. So much of what happens in the legislature depends on who's in charge. Speaker Greg Stumbo says he believes the results are in part a backlash against Governor Bevin's proposed budget cuts. What it says is that people in Kentucky want us to work together, and I'm committed to that, and I think my caucus is committed to that. In a statement, the chairman of the Republican Party of Kentucky said the elections put the GOP one seat closer to a majority, adding, quote, with Republican candidates running in 91 House districts and the Democrats tied to the Obama-Clinton agenda, I am confident we will take the majority and turn Kentucky in a new direction in November. In the meantime, with a budget battle underway, the state government here in Frankfurt remains divided, with Republicans in control of the Senate and Democrats the House. At the Capitol, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Kentucky Democratic leaders say their focus will continue to be on education and health care.